Pharmacogenetics refers to the study of genetic influences on an individual's response to drugs. In pharmacogenetics, the analysis of a specific gene or group of genes may be used to predict responses to a specific drug or class of drugs. Pharmacogenomics refers collectively to all the genes that influence drug responses and how genome-wide analysis may be used to identify such genes in the search for novel drug targets and or key determinants of drug reactions. The effects of a specific dose of a specific drug will differ between individual recipients. A drug that is effective in one person may have no discernible therapeutic effect in another, whilst a third might show a partial response. In some, there may be undesirable side effects. There are multiple contributory factors to such variation in drug response, such as gender, age, body mass, diet, the presence of other drugs, or of particular disease states, and exposure to certain chemicals or toxins, such as cigarette smoke. In addition to these, genetic factors also influence drug response. Genetic factors may account for between 20 to 95% of the observed variation in drug response between individuals. Drugs undergo five stages following administration. 1. Absorption into the body, for example, from the gut. 2. Distribution to their site of action in the body. 3. Target interaction, for example, binding to cellular receptors or ion channels. 4. Metabolic processing. and 5. Excretion from the body. Theoretically, genes that influence any stage of this pathway could affect the overall drug response. There are two main groups of genes that are important when studying variation in drug responses. The first are those influencing the pharmacokinetic properties of drugs, such as drug metabolizing enzymes and drug transporters, which affect how the drug is handled by the body. The second is those influencing pharmacodynamic properties of drugs, including drug targets such as enzymes, receptors and ion channels, and their associated pathways which determine the drug's effect on the body. One example of a gene that affects pharmacokinetic drug properties is the ABCB1 gene, which encodes the MDR1 drug transporter. Variants of ABCB1 are associated with resistance to the effects of drugs, such as the anti-epileptic agent phenytoin. One example of a gene that affects pharmacodynamic drug properties is the CYP2C19 gene, which encodes the metabolic enzyme cytochrome P450. Variants of CYP2C19 are associated with a decreased level of responsiveness to omeprazole used to treat peptic ulcers and other gastric complaints. Most of the genetic variants that affect drug action are called single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, or sets of closely linked SNPs called haplotypes. SNPs are commonly occurring single nucleotide substitutions of one base for another, present in at least 1% of the general population. However, haplotypes are generally better predictors of drug responsiveness than isolated SNPs. For example, if responsiveness to a particular drug Y is affected by a set of SNPs in gene X, and there are five commonly occurring haplotypes, combinations of these SNPs, in a population, then two might be associated with good responses, one with moderately good responses, and two with poor responses. Thus, using real-life illustrations, there are two common variants, C or T, at a specific position in the multi-drug transporter gene, ABCB1. Most individuals will have the genotype CC, CT or TT with respect to this SNP, and the CC genotype has been associated with resistance to anti-epileptic drugs. Efficacy and toxicity are two key aspects of drug response of clinical relevance. Efficacy refers to the maximum beneficial or therapeutic response that a drug can produce, and is a measure of clinical effectiveness. It can be expressed in terms of the percentage of recipients who show a therapeutic response at a given standard dose. Toxicity refers to the extent to which a drug induces unwanted or harmful health effects, and may be expressed as the percentage of patients who show adverse side effects at a given dose. The optimal dose range for a drug is that at which efficacy is greatest and toxicity is lowest. In practice, achieving an acceptable level of toxicity usually means that efficacy is compromised, and in some cases, even the safest drugs can produce severe side effects. Extreme drug responders within a patient population are of concern. These include non-responders, in whom the drug is ineffective, and adverse responders, in whom the drug causes major harmful side effects. If it was possible to identify these individuals in advance, treatments could be improved. The non-responders could receive an increased dose or alternative medication, and the adverse responders could receive either a greatly decreased dose 
or an alternative form of medication.